Um, does it matter where we go from? Uh, I'd probably put it somewhere in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing today? It is Clay with Just Add Water. I'm here with Eli and Jesse, and today we are at one of our maintenance clients. So this isn't a feature that we built, but it's one that we've been maintaining for the past year or so. And uh, maintenance has started to get uh, pretty difficult uh, just with the amount of flow rate going through. Um, and then they've got this outdated skimmer here, which uh, doesn't really have a net. The, the net keeps tearing, breaking, we've replaced it a couple times. That's why we've just got this piece of aqua block in the front, but that, that clogs up way easier and that can prevent water from getting to the pump, which makes the pump suck air, which then ruins said pump. Uh, so today what we're doing is we are going to be tearing out this skimmer, revamping it. We're we'll putting a brand new uh, Skimmer 1000 in here. Um, and yeah, hopefully that'll be It'll make things a little easier. We'll be putting a new pump in as well. Slightly less flow than this one. Um, let's get to it. Eli off site now because I was tired of looking at him. It's just Jesse and me now. Uh, I got the face plate off of the old skimmer. Uh, now we're gonna clean this up, get a new piece of liner seamed on top to cover up this hole, uh, make that watertight. Uh, right now, Jesse's working on digging out the old skimmer. We'll get that ripped out, get the hole dug for the new skimmer, get that put in, and then we'll be able to uh, attach the skimmer to the liner as if it's a brand new piece of liner once we get that new piece on here. So it's going pretty good. shadows in the way but you can kind of see we've got one two three seams to get our bib liner on here so that we have a nice fresh surface to work with uh, to install a new skimmer but you can see here when we do these seams and we're putting two pieces together like this we like to go up and over and then back down the back of it now this isn't keeping anything watertight that's not the whole purpose of this. This is strictly to prevent the two pieces of liner from pulling apart in the future. So you can see here, I haven't done it yet. If I were to finish this right here, like this is still gonna be a pretty weak spot. Like you can pull that apart very easily. When we're setting rocks on here uh, over time uh, with this settling and stuff like that, it might pull that apart and then it breaks the seal and it's no longer watertight. So by going up, and over and back down here it just really reinforces that connection makes it so that I mean you can tug all you want it's not going anywhere so biggest thing with these uh, bulkheads here is it comes with these two gaskets one is going to be this harder plastic that's gonna go on the outside of the box the other one is this rubber one and this is what makes it watertight so that's this has to be on the inside just to ensure no water gets out uh, rule of thumb for these is we go hand tight and then we'll give it a quarter turn with the channel locks that just kind of makes sure that this expands just enough to fill in the the cracks from the threads uh, if you go any more than a quarter you risk squishing this out even more and then it's no longer filling in the cracks it's actually just blowing out and it's no longer going to be watertight so you have to be really careful with installing these. Gotta do it right. All right, so I got the new skimmer right here. All. And here's all the stuff that it comes with. Get this out of the way. 
here you go got your skimmer rack this just goes in there and uh that prevents the sides of the skimmer from caving in on itself uh due to the ground settling around it frost all that um that well, stays in year round and, uh, never take it out unless yeah. you're getting access to the pump that's just to get all that cleaning it out stuff like that so this here's the this face open. plate and this is where i need right rear, now rather are these pop it open these bulkheads bam this is how so these bulkheads go water level in these two holes that. boom boom and one that will be for the plumbing line like this just the part of the other one just with water to attach level. this piece to the box level. itself uh, so pretty you much just we'll have to make the opening out powder type filter pad or your carbon bag so just to help you step uh, uh, just we'll bring it out to the last kind of like where the hardware is coming in down here that's the key this to connect the base plate. Time to hook the liner to the skimmer. Uh, these things come with these handy dandy little bits right here, which they screw into the back of this face plate, and then you can poke them through so that way you can hold it in place where you need to. Come over here, grab the other half of the face plate. Bada bing, bada boom. Now I know where all the holes need to go. Should be pretty nice. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll take some silicone and I'll run it over all of the holes. Um, See, so yeah, I'll take the silicone, run it through here. Uh, that way, any little crack, crevice, all that will be filled in with the silicone and will be watertight. What's going on, E? What? Um, so, now we got the skimmer in, the new skimmer that is. We got it all built. We got our plumbing lines in, check valve into the new pump and all that. Plumbing line into there, we reduced it from three inch down to two inch. Makes it easier for our check valve. We got our overflow glued in there. Um, that's so if the pond does overfill itself, it'll just drain out that line. And then now, we're gonna hook up our auto fill which needs to be drilled just above this line here. And so that if it gets too low, it'll fill itself. Nice, nice. All right, so we've now got everything finalized. Well, not finalized. We got all the plumbing line hooked up. Autofill is connected. Uh, rock work is done inside the pond. We've just got to start filling it back up. Once we get water to where we want it, we're going to set that autofill so it's at the correct level. So it shuts off when we want it to and it turns on when we want it to. Uh, once we get that all done, we will turn the system on, check all of our connections, make sure that they're working, and then we'll get uh, all the connections covered up, uh, buried again, and uh, we'll, we'll get the heck out of Dodge. All right, we are all wrapped up. Bada bum boom, water is running. Water's super murky. Ground's still pretty dirty. We gotta clean this up. And the filter system for the pond will clean that up for us. So, show you here. Bam. Got the brand new skimmer in there. Got the. Auto fill running for now. Probably got another half inch to go. So it's fully loaded. Um, They've got landscapers that'll come in and they'll remulch that, you know that, but yeah, here's what she looks like. Oh, 
Zoom. Yeah, I would fill up the screen. Zoom. Zoom. Zoom.